Tiger Woods has had a spectacular career so far, but he might be in for the biggest challenge yet in 2023. So, what's the GOAT facing in what could be his swan song year? Well, a fellow pro golfer, Paul McGinley, talked about just that. According to him, Tiger Woods' biggest challenge in 2023 will be his inability to walk comfortably around a golf course. Even though Woods may still have all the talent in the world, with a golf club in his hand, walking around the course is also very crucial for a golfer. And uh, he seems to have reconciled himself to the fact that he will no longer be able to compete in many tournaments outside the majors. Woods has not participated in more than 10 events in a calendar year since 2019. He has had to dramatically reduce his schedule in order to be ready for when the majors roll around. And he still wasn't able to be fit enough for the US Open this year due to the physical constraints. Beginning in April with the Masters and concluding with the British Open in July, the four majors are played within a four-month window. Most pros recognize the importance of getting into game shape before entering any major tournament. Woods has shown that he is unlike any other golfer in history over and over again throughout the course of his career. His 2019 Masters win will go down in sports history as one of the best comebacks ever. However, McGinley argues that Woods' final major victory occurred during a period in which the American icon was actively engaged in golf. This time around, Woods hasn't been much active in terms of golf, and the two times he played, Woods seemed very uncomfortable. In both the match and the PNC Championship, Tiger struggled while walking and had to use a golf cart. Since Woods' schedule doesn't appear to be changing anytime soon, we might not see him at another tournament until the 2023 Masters. But if Woods doesn't play in a few tune-up tournaments, McGinley has serious reservations about his ability to come in April. His golf is regarded as excellent, and his ball speed is in the 180s, placing him in the top 10% on tour. But obviously, the problem is walking. And if you can't walk, you can't play a lot of tournaments. It's tough to show up at majors and play competitively from the get-go if you don't have a body of work from playing week to week on the PGA Tour. If you look back a few years to when he won the Masters, he had a terrific run for about six months prior to that. McGinley also added that the odds are stacked against Woods. The Irish golfer said that he can't just show up for four weeks a year and immediately be at a competitive level. And he might be right. Despite his repeated claims that he hasn't lost his competitive edge, Woods had trouble maintaining his form at each of the three majors he participated in last year. And to avoid more speculation about his PGA Tour future in 2023, Woods will want to be doing more than just making up the numbers. So how much can we expect to see Woods in 2023? Well, according to Woods himself, not so much. Woods is keen to play and challenge on the PGA Tour, despite having to be incredibly picky about when and where he makes appearances. Tiger is, without a doubt, still golf's biggest draw, and if anything, he'll make a select number of appearances at the sport's most prestigious tournaments. Woods once revealed that his plan is to limit his tournament appearances to the four major tournaments and perhaps one or two others per year. He stated that physiologically, that's all he can do, as he provided us a glimpse into what his 2023 calendar would look like. Woods said that he hasn't got much left in his right leg, so he needs to get ready for the major tournaments. Even though injuries like plantar fasciitis kept him out of the Hero World Challenge, Woods could arise at any moment to throw a wrench in the gears. And there are certain tournament targets that Woods will be looking at in 2023. We're back in the Tiger spotting game now, and the first question is, will you spot Woods in all four majors? There's a high chance you'll see him in the majority of the majors. After shocking the golfing world by making the cut in the Masters, Woods will have his sights set squarely on Augusta National once again. The 15-time major winner knows the course like the back of his hand and is confident in his ability to contend there at any given time. He also played in the PGA Championship 
championship. But after shooting 79, he withdrew from the tournament and rested for the Open, which appeared to be his final appearance at St. Andrews. There would have to be a major event for him to skip the Masters this year, since he showed up just 14 months after his awful car disaster last year. And following his spectacular victory at Hoylake in 2006, he'll want to return to Royal Liverpool for the Open as well. Given his 12 over and 4 over performances in his two previous majors at Oak Hill, you could make the case that he would forego the PGA Championship if he believed it would be too much. In addition, Wood's exemption from playing in the US Open only has two years left, and this year's tournament is being held at the LA Country Club, which is conveniently close by, warranting an appearance from Woods. So you can expect to spot Tiger in at least three of the four majors, but where else can you see him? Will he appear in any other tournaments apart from the majors? His love for the game might just make him. Woods revealed at the Hero that he loves the sport and enjoys competing. So where can he showcase that love? for golf. Well, Tiger will definitely be at Riviera for the Genesis Invitational in February. He is hosting the tournament, and his TGR Foundation is the main charity that week. But will he bring his golf clubs for a round at Hogan's Alley? I'll have to say no, because then he won't have time to host the event, which is his main duty there. But hey, Woods can still make an appearance in the Arnold Palmer Invitational in March, right? Well, this one is a long shot, considering that Woods will almost certainly be keeping an eye on the players, and Bay Hill is only a week away. But if he's in good shape, he might want to use this as a warm-up. Speaking of the players, the tournament will take place in March, starting on the 9th, but Woods has only played in the players twice in the past seven years, so this one is hard to say. But it's the conclusion of the PGA Tour season, so he'll likely try to show up to show his support for the sport, especially since Live Golf exists. But if Tiger Woods feels up to playing in Los Angeles before the US Open, he would do well to enter Jack Nicklaus's tournament. The Memorial is just a week after the PGA which makes things complicated. So what's the final verdict? There are plenty of tournaments Woods can play in. In an ideal world, he'd play a tournament every month for the next six months, beginning with the Genesis in February, the players in March, and the four majors in four consecutive months. If Woods is in good enough shape, Riviera would be a great place to make his comeback to professional golf. It's far enough away from the Masters that a poor showing there wouldn't hurt his prospects of returning to Augusta. However, given Given that Woods played all four rounds of the Masters last year, despite mobility issues, you wouldn't rule out the possibility of him playing all four rounds again this year. So that's the biggest challenge Woods will face in 2023, according to McGinley. See you in the next video.